Remarkable women are all around us, and this month, News 8 is sharing the stories of several who are making a big impact on the communities around them. Evangela Stanley is one of those people. She's a local business owner, community activist, and single mom who's gone above and beyond to change the lives of others. And as Ali Peters shows us, adversity has only inspired her to do more. I wasn't a victim. I don't want to look at it as a victim. God made sure that I walked out. On December 23rd of 2019, Evangela Stanley's life changed forever. The guy chased me in and I was yelling for help. For the second time in three years, Van was targeted by an armed robber at her restaurant, People's Choice Kitchen. Thankfully that night, her friend had been there to help. He actually started fighting the guy. I heard the gunshot. I was like, oh my God, this guy has a gun in my restaurant. So I ran and hid it in the basement. It's now been more than two years since that incident, and Van and her family are okay. But these bullet holes at the restaurant still remind them of that night. It has been rough, but you know, we're strong. We make sure that we don't let anything deter us. I still stand. I'm still committed to the community. The community didn't give up on me, so I'm not giving up on the community. And she hasn't given up. Van's always given back to her community, but since that day, she's been motivated to do even more. For 20 years, she's been serving up Caribbean food with a flair of soul. But for Van, it's about more than just a good meal. It's about spreading generosity while you do it. One reason she started a pay what you can program for customers, an idea that came to her one Christmas. So I was like, wow, what if I put a sign up and put on social media? I know you guys are trying to buy Christmas gifts. I will allow you to come into my restaurant and pay whatever you can afford to eat for you, your kids. As long as I can remember, she's been doing big things for the community. She makes sure everyone eats, you know, she makes sure she takes care of everybody. But the Pay What You Can program is just one of many ways Van has given back. The single mom also hosts a yearly event called the Sisters Giving Smiles in honor of her sister who was a domestic violence survivor. They provide lunch, gift baskets, and sweets to remind the women they're loved. We would have uh, women from Alternative for Better Women and Sojourner House and the Y come in and six different salon owners would donate their time and paying for the ladies for free. Van also works with local police departments to bridge the gap between the community and law enforcement. Around the holidays, they purchase hundreds of toys for kids, make meals for the homeless, and give Christmas trees to families in need. I just know what it's like being without growing up um, poor and not having a lot. So when I see mothers and, and the kids come in and need a little help, I always extend my Van's generosity and strength to move forward has inspired many. But for Van, the giving comes easy when you love those around you so much. I just want to do as much as I can. I want to pass the torch for other young ladies to come and follow my lead and, and see what a great feeling it is in their careers to give back and help as many people as you can. Thanks, Allie. And for all she's done for the community leading the way, Van was given the key to the city of Rochester by former Mayor Lovely Warren. You can read more about her efforts at rochesterfirst.com.